So, so basically what you're saying is you use your Google searching skills to basically Google search your way through software engineering in undergrad, right? So, yeah, this is, this is interesting. When, when COVID came around, I was in fourth year. No, 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 I wasn't in fourth year. Or rather, I, I graduated university when COVID came around and I was still involved with, um, with a lot of tutoring or supporting students that were still going to university at the time. And what was interesting is they all started complaining around, oh, I have to do this remote. I need to do all these remote lectures and I need to be able to study from home. And I started to do that from second year. So I was like, I'm used to this. I've been doing this from second year because when I started the company, I didn't have enough time to attend lectures. I was too busy working on my startup. I was too busy working on this thing that I was incredibly passionate about. Um, and so I started working from home um, and doing remote learning all the way from second year through third year through fourth year and eventually graduated. Uh, and it actually gave me, in that process, is where I became really passionate or interested about education. Because in the process of doing that, I needed to figure out, okay, how do I pass an engineering degree as well as start and scale a startup I was really passionate about? My parents didn't want me to drop out. I was I was quite bullish about dropping out. My parents were like, no, please continue, which I'm very grateful they, they spoke some sense into me. <laughs> but what that forced me to do was forced me to become incredibly productive in how I studied. All of a sudden, instead of having months to prepare for my exams, I would have a few weeks before them in order to do that because four out of five days of my week um, were spent on my startup. So in one day, I needed to try and cover all of the university content. And what I discovered is that there is just an incredible amount of wasted time and effort that goes into studying. Uh, and it's incredibly inefficient. The first thing I did is I just stopped attending lectures. Because what I realized is that you do not learn by passively listening. You do not learn by sitting in a lecture theater and listening to someone speak content. The only way you end up learning is by actively engaging with the content. It's by doing problems that challenge you and force you to think by doing things that require you to create. So what I ended up doing for computer science, I focused all of my energy on building the applications of what we were being taught. But in math, science and other subjects, I'll just kind of skip right to the test. I'll skip to the test and exam. Even if I never understood the questions in the maths paper, I'll just start doing them. And in a very similar methodical approach, I'll Google each question how to do it. And because I was being challenged, I was in a constant state of, of not knowing and actively applying, the learning became 10 times more effective. And it came to this realization that a lot of education today is completely based on passive learning, which doesn't work. It doesn't actually educate or teach, teach kids. Wow, okay, so you managed to take passive education and make it active for yourself. Awesome. 